what is up everyone this is karan here welcome back to tech karan youtube channel if you're also one of the user waiting for redmi note 8's miui 12 stable update yes it's not officially available till now but yes you can use ported roms you can use official china beta roms if you want to and like that we have the latest miui 12.0.0 stable version ported rom available for redmi note 8 users and if you're redmi note 7 user this rom is already available for your device also the link for both of the devices is in the description so you can go and check it out this one is minya 12.0.0 stable version and based on android version 10 this is a grecian mode repack rom which is actually the modded rom of minya 12 stable version which has little bit of features available which are those features let's find out Guys, it's based on MIUI 12 India Global Stable and India Global Stable of course does not include any many features in your device but this is a modded room, this is a repacked room so yes it has some cool kind of features. I'm gonna share with you all those features also. First of all I have applied a theme called Destro OS so just move to theme store let's find out how the theme store looks like. This is a default theme store looks like which is in Indian language as you can see but has the premium themes available here as you can see these are some premium themes which are available in trending recommended for you which has some premium themes also available here too other cool kind of themes are available and as you can see most of the themes are paid here but the thing is whenever we go to the my page and go to the theme section unfortunately you cannot import themes you already know if you use a global stable you'll not be able to import the themes as you want to but yes if you have some favorite theme like in my case i have my favorite theme so i have no issues in finding this theme just installed and everything is done as you can see i've applied a theme and the theme looks very much interesting i'll put it to the full my playlist where i have a lot of themes available for me 11 and me 12 so that you can download them if you want to now let's move on to some cool features of this build first of all if you talk about the apps no blotwares at all because I didn't got any blotwares till now as you can see and also I'm using the latest Magisk 20.3 so no issues here at all but the thing is safety net status is still not passed. I think after hiding the magic safety net status will be passed but right now it's not passed here. Moving on to the settings and some features of this build because it has all the main MIUI 12 features so I don't think so that are enough to show you so you can simply install this build moving on to some features features here. Okay, let's move on to the settings right now. First of all, if we talk about the always on display and the lock screen, always on display is not available. I, I ported this room. I did not add the always on display because that's not good and it will just drain your battery and it will just harm your display. So it's not recommended for you. So that's why I have not enabled it here. We have the sleep option and these kind of things which were expected in your device also. If you go to the display option here, you have the reading mode, you have the dark mode as expected and here you have two very interesting features the maximum brightness for call option and maximum brightness in the gallery while you are viewing pictures that's a very very interesting feature i got to know here maximum brightness on call is a feature which is available in mi room also if you have used the mi room room and this one is maximum brightness in the gallery is a very interesting feature i just got here and also you can use a scheduled option if you want to it all depends upon you we have the system fonts customization as expected and text size and the font weight customizations as expected including that we have the list animations options available i sometimes use the wave left option like this which looks very very interesting also you can choose a list interpolation to accelerate or decelerate anticipate overshoot and these are animations perfectly fine not in the settings app but in some apps is perfectly fine here I tried it and it's perfectly fine here we have the gestures on the desktop which is turn off the screen which is perfectly fine including that the swipe up gesture is also there so you can see the wi-fi phone recent apps and as you can see that animation is perfectly fine which we just tried which was the list animation number of columns in folder control center and notification shade by default i have not enabled the control center and of course i will also not recommend you to use control center because it's heavy and for some mid-range smartphones it's better to simply use that this kind of notification shade which i have enabled also you can hide the notch if you want to it's a very interesting kind of thing 
other things are kind of the same thing as you already know dual network icon style which is a very cool customization feature i am using a single sim right now so i don't need these kind of things color notification icons is a very interesting feature. So network speed interval which you can adjust including that the use new control center as i already told you i have not applied that first of all let me choose this because i don't want to hide notch in miui miui looks bad if i hide the notch in aerospace rooms i personally hide the notch because that looks good there sound and vibration has the same kind of things it just has the two options available there let me show you which are these options expanded panel and the single panel if you talk about other things are kind of same Home screen has the option of app drawer if you want to. I have not enabled it, but yes, it's perfectly fine. You can enable the app drawer option if you want to, but I am not gonna enable it because I have enabled the app drawer a lot of times and right now I don't think so it's good here. Background app customizations and other things, disable unlock animations are kind of the same kind of things and boring UI wallpaper themes as i already told you the password and security has a fingerprint and face unlock and unlock after reboot option is quite impressive as expected other things are kind of same kind of things in additional settings we have the ad block option available this is minion 12 global stable india update a ported room for admin noted users and for admin note 7 users it's also also available the link for both of the devices is in the description how you can install that let me show you first of all you have to boot into custom recovery and let me show you which are which is the file which you need in your device I have a Mi Explorer right now and this is the file which you need if you are a Redmi Note 8 user. Both of the devices have the same installation process so don't need to worry about anything. Mi 12 stable port Gingo by current.safe so just boot into custom recovery right now. Let's just boot into custom recovery. In my case, I'm using the Orange Fox custom recovery. You can use any other custom recovery also. Just go to your wipe section, Dalvi catch system, vendor data as expected. All these five things swipe to wipe. It will not take that much time. So just to wait for it to happen. Updating partition details, everything is just done. Now just install the file, which is maybe your internal location, maybe your SD card or wherever you have. Just click this and then swipe to install. It will not take that much time so just wait for it to happen as you can see me 12.0.0 global stable india redmi note 8 gingo port by tech current for redmi note 8 users and if you're using redmi note 7 it's quite simple also for you after this installation you just need to format data and just reboot nothing need to worry and everything will be done this was all from today's video i hope you like it if you like it don't forget to like and share this video and if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe me also now this was all thanks for watching goodbye